I am Pawan Prakash Gupta and today I am going to demonstrate you the uh, dynamic characteristics of uh, IGBT and MOSFET. So we will pick all these uh, hardware demonstration one by one, firstly for the IGBT. Then after that I will make uh, another video for the MOSFET dynamic characteristics. What is the dynamic characteristics? Actually these are the uh, switching devices uh, that is your power MOSFET or uh, IGBT. So whenever you are switching on or off it, so it is not taking immediately on or immediately off. It takes a little bit time to turn on and uh, uh, similarly the little bit uh, time to, to take turn off. So these characteristics are uh, actually studied under the dynamic characteristics where we actually study about its T on time, turn on time, turn off time. In that uh, turn on time, delay time, rise time, fall time, these things we try to study about any IGBT or MOSFET. So firstly we are going to perform it uh, uh, for the IGBT. For that we have a dedicated kit in which a IGBT and MOSFET is fitted. So I am going to show you that how to perform this practical. So please zoom over here. This is our kit which is dedicated for the BJT MOSFET IGBT characteristic study module. Now we can see that here it is our MOSFET is already fitted over here. Here it is our IGBT. Please uh, look at this side. So this is IGBT is fitted internally over here. So what is the thing that we have to take the dynamic characteristics of this IGBT in this particular video. To uh, supply the IGBT we have a DC supply points over here. So we have to connect a DC supply positive over here, negative over here which is a 24 volt supply. We are actually providing the 24 volt supply from this DC supply. We can uh, set up over here 24 volt supply. Also to complete the circuit here we have to connect a RL load over here. It is mentioned over here. So for that RL load I am using a lamp load for the resistive condition and a choke coil for the uh, L uh, load and that is I have connected across these two terminals. Also these two terminals have to be connected externally because it is uh, internally not connected. Now you can see that this circuit from this load connection and this uh, particular wire and then IGBT then uh, power supply this circuit is becomes a closed circuit. So your uh, with the help of a supply your uh, IGBT is going to carry the current uh, uh, as per the load connected over here. Now what we have to uh, look that how to trigger this IGBT. So for that uh, we have a triggering terminal over here. To trigger or to drive this IGBT turn on and turn off this IGBT we have a, a driver circuit over here. So for that we have an oscillator fitted over here which provides a certain frequency at the terminal T1. You can see that it is mentioned term terminal T1. This terminal T1 is bring over here at terminal T2 which is a transistor transistor IGBT MOSFET driver logic and that is actually uh, ultimately giving uh, us a triggering pulses at G. This uh, G terminal is connected directly, directly to the G1 terminal of your IGBT so that it can turn on and turn off okay based on this uh, triggering pulses. So we will try to find out that what is the uh, turn on and turn off characteristics of this IGBT. For that we have to take the uh, voltage across this IGBT and also the current flowing through this IGBT which we will trap uh, from here because our uh, DSO and voltage probes are going to trap only the voltage. So we will try to trap the voltage drop uh, because of the current flowing through IGBT across this resistance that we have actually uh, taken over here at the DSO. So here uh, this is uh, our characteristics. First of all let me show you the whole characteristics. This type of a characteristics we are getting over here. You can see that uh, here in the lower side of the screen this is our 1.66 uh, kilohertz frequency that means our switching action is taking place at the 1.66 uh, kilohertz and you can see that all these yellow waveforms are the voltage across the IGBT and the blue waveforms are the current flowing through the IGBT. Now if we zoom it so we will try to that uh, investigate that what is our turn on characteristics. So here we have zoom it. So we can see that during the turn on uh, what is the action this blue one is our current through the IGBT. So as soon as the uh, IGBT is turning on the current is going to the maximum value as per the load connected over here and your voltage across the IGBT during turn off goes down up to the voltage drop across the IGBT when it is turned on. 
that means it is switching from turn off to turn on condition and you can see that the, this is a there is a curve over here the, this you have to actually uh, understand that what is my turn on and turn off characteristic so uh, for that we can measure it the turn on of the igbt takes place uh, with the two actions that is the it has a delay time as well as the rise time also. So for that we have to measure it and we can see that when we zoom it again we will try to investigate that what is our uh, this characteristics. We will try to also uh, put it the cursor and we want to make the cursor uh, use for the uh, measurement of these times so we can see that here at this instant the triggering pulses are applied over here and we can see that when our uh, MOSFET voltage is dropped across it uh, near about uh, from the full value to 90 percent almost this is our delay time and our current is rising from the leakage current value when that uh, our, uh, our IGBT is actually uh, of uh, this is the leakage current through the IGBT and it is taking place up to the near about 10 percent value of the your uh, uh, IGBT current. So this is nothing but your delay time which is nothing but coming out near about 700 nanoseconds 700 nanoseconds and for the uh, further we uh, again we have to place the uh, cursor over here. So we will place the cursor at the 90% value and then we will try to put here the full current value. This is nothing but when the current is from 10% to 100% of its value. So here it is achieving the 100% value of the uh, IGBT. So it is 2.6 microsecond. That means this is our rise time. Okay. So this is nothing but a uh, delay time and the rise time during the uh, turn, turning on of the uh, your IGBT similarly we have to also investigate that what is my uh, during the off condition so for that I'll uh, set the characteristics over here and that is uh, for that I need to again scale back so here we can see that let me set it further so that you can take the correct readings okay for a timing I'm switching off my cursors this is nothing but when your uh, IGBT is turning off from this on condition volt uh, on state voltage drop to uh, voltage across the IGBT okay so this is nothing but the uh, your IGBT is uh, turning off from like and the voltage is rising across it and the current is falling uh, uh, through the IGBT so this is you can measure with the help of the cursor again so I'll uh, switch on it again and this you can actually this is uh, this times incorporate the uh, delay time as well as the fall time fall time is a uh, two uh, times uh, t uh, fall time one fall time two that you can uh, actually refer your theory parts so for that i'll place the cursor again and if i want to measure that uh, delay or first of all let me go with the this one with the respect to the current we will measure the delay so this is full current okay and you can see that from the full current value till 90% value it is nothing but our delay time which is 2.6 microsecond now rest of the uh, our fall time is nothing but this much you can see when from the 90% value to almost leakage current value or the 10 per less than 10% value of the current it is so it is 8.6 microsecond so it is our total fall time which incorporates two parts tf1 and tf2 that you can actually refer your theory uh, parts also in the books so this is nothing but the characteristics of our igbt during the turn on action during the turn off action so we can also measure uh, like these t uh, these fall time rise time and on time and this is nothing but our dedicated kit over here which is uh, we are utilizing for the uh, making of the IGBT dynamic characteristics, switching characteristics. Okay, thank you.